Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I have a lovely gold canvas. Well, actually, it's not a canvas. It's a 12 by 12 cradle wood um, board. And I am repurposing it, which is why I'm showing this already flooded. And I am going to do a Nautilus pour like Nate Bright does. Um, check him out, Nate Bright Art. I will link his channel right above here. And um, you can see how the master does it. So I have decided that I am going to do three colors with mine. I have a um, five chambered split cup right here, and I am going to use three of the five chambers. My paint colors are all by Artist Loft. I have violet, I have light magenta, and last but not least, I have turquoise. So I have made my paints a little bit more fluid. I want them to come out um, pretty easily. Hopefully they're not too fluid, but we will see. So I am going to just put my paints in here. So that was violet. Light magenta is gonna go in the middle chamber. These uh, chambers each hold about four ounces. It's actually just a little bit less than four ounces of paint. And my last one right here is the turquoise. All right. Ah! Got a little turquoise drop in my magenta. Probably won't matter. All right, so there's that. Now I want to mark out the middle of this uh, non-canvas paint, paint surface. Just taking a string, marking the center, and X marks the spot for where I'm going to set my strainer. There. I have a little bit of that gold seeping through, which should be fine. I was tempted to add more there for a minute, but I think we'll be okay. We've got tons of paint. All right, so I am going to move my cup in an anti-clockwise fashion. I am going to spin my canvas in a clockwise fashion. So let's see what happens here happens is that my purple is going to come out first. I'm going to let that just come out. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, this is dribbling down. Oh, I am not liking how this is coming out. Hopefully I can fix that. I'm just doing a ring pour in the center of this strainer. I chose to have a gold base so that if there are cells that come up, um, they should be gold. All right, I am loving the rings now. Had a little trouble to the start, but hopefully that start part will, well, I know it will, it'll come off come off the canvas.
Okay, I'm gonna call that good right there. I'm gonna continue to spin this. The colors are really cool. So I'm just giving uh, the paint the opportunity to flow through the strainer and come out. Okay. I'm gonna let that stop and then I'm gonna pick up the strainer and see what we get. Got a little bit of gold in the middle there. All right, so if my colors had been thicker, the center part would be more um, defined. And you can see as I'm dipping my finger in here, I am pulling some of that base coat of gold up through and into the center here. All right, let's give it a little spin. <gasps> Looks like a little flower about to bloom in the very center. I don't expect to keep any of the gold because I do have a lot of paint on here. Yeah, I should have kept my paint just a little bit thicker. Ooh, pretty, pretty. So the paint has come off all the sides, all the corners. I actually really like it. It doesn't have too much of that Nautilus look to it, um, but the colors sure are pretty. <laughs> I like all these cells in through here. There's pink cells, pink and purple cells in the blue, blue cells in the pink and purple. Um, very cool. All right, so now what I've got to do is just torch this baby. That could bring up even more cells. I would call this a success. And actually, you can tell that Nautilus from the pink. Um, small, larger, larger, mostly here. Small with the blue, larger, larger there. The purple, I don't know where it went. <laughs> but somewhere in there. You can see a little bit of the purple in through here as well, but I, I think it's just beautiful. Um, the colors speak to me, I like it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, have you tried a Nautilus pour? Um, if you have, uh, show me your, your colors. Oh, I do have to just bring you down um, for a close up here. Let me take my gloves off. I have to show you the sides. Look, I'm getting gold pearls, gold cells on the edge. <laughs> oh, it's too bad that um, they're not going to remain because I have tape that will come off. All right, well, here it is. I'm going to try and get it so that there's no light shining through but there you are there's my nautilus pour all right thanks for joining me dried results next bye for now psych we're back so i had tried another nautilus pour um about a week ago and it just came out so dark and i think i ha i used all five chambers in that one so I'm gonna do an experiment. We just saw the other one, uh, the other Nautilus pour that I did. 
um, my paints were quite fluid. And in this one, I thought, yeah, you know, I kind of want to go again. Let's just see what happens if I make the paint um, thicker. So I'm marking the center again. This time I'm just putting down a gold puddle in the middle. Push my cup down in there. Looks quite pretty. So now my paints are quite thick. I have put them in the same order. These might be on opposite sides of each other from the last one. I don't even remember. But the hard part on this one is going to be pouring it out of here just due to how thick these paints are. So I'm just going to start slowly. You're in it with me, right, guys? So the paint is not going to come out of the strainer anywhere near as quickly. Oops, forgetting to spin. Pop a few of these bubbles. Just continuing to spin to let the paint come out. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of an aggressive spin here to help get that paint out. Let's pull this off, see what happens. It is stuck on there. Woo! All right. That center pattern is pretty cool. I'm going to do the finger dip. There is something in the middle there. There's a goober in the middle. See that? What the heck? Ooh, I'm creating another one of those gold flowers in the middle. I am also taking some of the paint off here. All right. Wow, okay, let's spin some more. Okay, so what's interesting is, to me, is that the colors have blended on this one more. Um, hmm. Maybe because of the aggressive spinning, I'm not sure. Uh, so the initial part where everything was really clearly defined in terms of the colors and the spin out has kind of been lost. Very weird. But unlike the other one, my center is more vibrant. So, pros and cons. Let me bring you in or out. There it is. I mean, it's still really cool. And again, the sides 
we'll have that design come down and I will scrape my edges um, and I'll do it probably about three times. I will continue to pop bubbles. But yeah, I mean, I think they're both really good. I will show you them both dry and then you can let me know which one is your favorite. All right, bye for now. And here are both paintings. The one on the left is the one that I did first and the one on the right is number two. And the colors do shift a little bit depending on the angle that you're at. Both are pretty cool. Hard to decide which one is my favorite though. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.